Well, super regulators is a term that I use to talk about a person who has a decent amount of mastery over their ability to self-regulate. So they know how to use their mind or other kinds of situations and environments and resources to get into a state that they desire. It's also a person who has some capacity to use the relationships and social interactions in ways that also contribute to their own sense of regulation and another person's sense of regulation. With a super regulator, they are somebody that has those two capacities, but also is taking it to another level where they are explicitly and intentionally trying to help others learn how to self-regulate and co-regulate. So there are many, many different forms of this. This could be coaches and teachers, leaders, bosses, any kind of person who is bringing that kind of energy into a, an environment of some sort, but also very intentionally and explicitly, again, explaining things or giving techniques, giving strategies for the other people to more consciously figure out how to self-regulate and co-regulate. So whether it's a coach or a teacher, a parent, whatever it is, they are bringing their own self-regulation to the situation. They are co-regulating, but they're also using words in a sense and also strategies, whatever that is, where there's a real teaching to the other people. So that could be somebody who actually teaches breathing techniques or mindfulness, um, somebody who teaches others how to use movement and journaling, gratitude practices, whatever that is. So the cool thing about this idea of super regulators is it's tied to something called self-transcendent purpose. Self-transcendent purpose is when we are thinking about why we are doing something in the terms of who it's for, who we are serving, why we are learning whatever it is in terms of how it's going to contribute to one person's life or many people's lives. And there's a lot of research around self-transcendent purpose. It actually is correlated with people feeling a, a higher sense of motivation and engagement for sticking through things, even when they get challenging, even when there's tedious stuff involved. If a person is more aware of who they are doing it for, when they have that self-transcendent purpose, they are more likely to persevere through repetitive, even tedious tasks or challenging tasks. So as you're learning about this idea of emotion regulation, if you can keep getting in touch with who this is for, who are you learning this for? Whose life is going to be better because you are incorporating this, because you are figuring out how you become a better self-regulator and co-regulator, there's going to be someone who benefits. And the more you get in touch with that, the more likely you might stick with some of the things that are needed in order to regulate your nervous system, whether that's meditation, gratitude practices, journaling, any of the things that I've mentioned in the previous modules. So I hope that you can think about somebody, maybe even in this very moment, whose life would really benefit from you being in it, and not only you being in it, but you becoming a master of your own nervous system and your ability to really understand on that conscious level how all of us humans can get better at this. So I hope that some of the information in this mini course has given you some ideas about that. It's not a hugely comprehensive course, but I just wanted to give something for people to read along, listen along and watch along with the mini book that I created. And I also have my passion project where I help coaches, consultants, leaders uh, become more fluent in neuroscience. So we get together and we go through their work, their clients and really deeply understand them from a neuroscience level so that they can integrate all of this really cool science research into what they do. So that's my passion. Uh, I generally have very limited spots, but if that sounds like something that's of interest to you, I would encourage you to email me, uh, hello at stephaniefay.com. And you can also check out my YouTube channel. I have plenty of videos, a lot of them that have to do with emotion regulation. And I hope to hear from you, and I really hope you got something helpful from this.